Okay, so now I have my files imported. Um, next thing I want to do is put some stuff on the timeline and do some uh, basic editing. So what I'm going to do is start with this video, that uh, screen capture video I made. I'm going to put it down here in video one, and you notice that it also um, shows an audio one. Now another important thing is this may look different than your than what you have on your screen, and it's not because I have a Mac. It's because you've probably got this some, something like this, so it shows scene line. I like to use the timeline. It's a little easier because what I'm used to, it's a more traditional view. So one of the things about this timeline, I put this, I just drag some of the media down onto the timeline, is I can make it bigger or smaller, um, depending on what detail I need to go into in looking at the video. So I put this first thing, which is a screen capture, and I can preview my movie up here. It hasn't been rendered yet, uh, which will do, uh, but for now, you can still see it. It looks kind of gnarly. Hello, um, I'm Richard Hall, and I'm a professor at Missouri S&T, um, which you can tell from my new um, Missouri S&T toque. Uh, um, I specialize in, like, let's say, user-centered design and in educational technology and digital media. Okay, right about here, I actually want to cut this film, uh, and I'm going to put some other stuff in there. So what I do is I go up to the um, timeline and say split clip. And so I go down here, and then you'll see that there's actually split in between. And so then I'm going to take some of my just graphic files. And since I said I was a professor, I'm going to put some pictures of me as a professor. So I got that picture, and let's say something from the lab, which is this picture here. And then another a picture of me talking. And I think that's, that's more than enough. And so then i uh, put this other thing next to it. And, and I can tell you already that those pictures, by default, see, they're on for quite a while. So if we look at the time, up here it shows the time is 2118. So if I click on this, I uh, go up and see that it is now on 27, 0. Now the 18, by the way, means 18 frames, and each frame is 2 seconds. So it's like saying it's 23, um, what, 36? But in any case, point being, it's like four seconds, which is a long time for a picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, so it's a 2203. I'm going to make it bigger so I can see a little more detail. So it's a 2303. I'm going to say, um, I just want it to go to, oh, I'm sorry, right now it's a 2120. I want it to go to, let's just have this go for a second. 2220. 20. Okay, and then if I put my cursor down here, you can see on the timeline, when the cursor takes this position, it means it's getting ready to grab one video, one side of the clip and move it make it shorter. So I am going to make it shorter and go all the way to that place in the timeline. And by default, the next clip automatically, you'll notice, um, fills in the space. And I'm going to make it about one second. So 2220, let's say 2320. Move this next clip there. And then I'm going to go to 2420. All right, and I'm going to make that clip shorter. And now you can see it's it's quite a bit shorter. And again, it hasn't been rendered, so this and up here where it shows the video. Media. I'm also an amateur, yeah. and it goes to the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of these clips in um, the same sort of fashion, and um, then we'll, we'll see where we go from there.